Welcome back, viewers. So, how much money do I got? 250,000. Or, yeah. 2,500. Let's check the weather for tomorrow. Ooh, raining all day. Nice. Now, viewers, because I really, really want to get this house upgrade, I am going to do a lot of off-screen grinding after this session, and basically... Oh, wait, it's fucking Sunday. Or Saturday. That's fucking useful. Anyways, I'm going to do a, a lot of off-screen grinding coming up here. Getting get up to it. All right, so all the way up here, I picked this up before and sold it. These things go for 150 each, so I'm gonna sell those over and over until I get the 5,000 I need for the house upgrade. No. Bitter, you're a titter. I like to titter her. I'm oh, sorry, viewers. Anyway, these things are worth 150,000 each. Not 150,000, 150 gold each. So I'm gonna basically run back and forth, picking up these summer fruits and selling them over and and putting them over and over into the cell box here to get the fifty thousand to get the five thousand that I need. Now I'm talking about actually going back and forth and doing this until I get five thousand. More than what I currently have, because this money I currently have is going to be dedicated for something else. At the moment, I've got twenty five hundred G. Fifteen hundred is gonna go to get a Cow, if I remember right, cows are 1500 in this game, and the other 1000 is gonna go to get three more bags of seeds. And that's really it, dude. That's. Yeah. I'm gonna. Go on and do my nightly shifts here, and see y'all very soon. Real quick note, viewers, I got the second power berry that you can get from tilling your land. This is actually why I was tilling my land here. I wanted to get the next power berry. Now I've got 50% of this game completed. I'm happy now. This land won't be really ever, or this tilled land for a while now won't be used. Like I said, at least for a little while, but, yeah, that's, uh, I, I wanted to go on and get that power berry, because now I've got, oh, four of the five. Apparently I'm just a dirt. Anyways, I'll go on and take care of my nightly shit now. See y'all soon. Two quick sub notes, viewers. First off... Once you have 999 lumber collected, you cannot hold any more. Second sub-note, I was correct in thinking I do have 50% of this game completed. So, that's really fucking good there. So I've got maximum fencing, or maximum lumber, and 50% of the stuff found. That is very useful. Hello, chickadees. Buck, buck, buck. Baka, baka, baka. All right. I want to swap this out. Mm, excuse me. That was a terrible tasting burp, and it didn't sound good either. I did I remember to warm my plants? Yes, yes, I did. All right, so. Instead of just editing forwards, I'm just going to hit the hay now. Tomorrow it's going to be raining, so I don't even have to water my plants, which is going to be good.
No. Uh, since it's raining, there's not going to be anyone out. But I still like to wander around during the rainy days. I don't know. It's just me. One more phase, and this should be... I think one more day, and these should be ready to harvest. Uh, sometime during the summer, this will actually open up, if I remember right. The hurricane that opens that up, if I, like I said, am remembering correctly, does happen during the summer. Alright. Pick you up and throw you in. Let's check this real quick. Okay. I was hoping that it would tell me how much feed I've got left. Now, eggs, looking back, it apparently only gives you 50 for it, so... Oh. oh, well. We'll be getting a lot more money very soon. As for right now, let's see if anyone's up on Dust Mountain. What I have actually started doing, viewers, is up near the top of the mountain here, there's this flower. During the nights, I would pick it up and bring it to Eve. That's generally what I have been doing. You can also bring her fruits, such as the summer fruit, and things off of your farm. So, try to keep that in mind. I'm going to bring this with me. Really, that's going to call it for this day as well, because I've got nothing left but to pick up more summer fruit and bring it over. There we go. So, yeah. I'll go on and see y'all soon enough. Welcome back, viewers. Look to yourself, Mr. Dow. What do we got for tomorrow? Sunny all day, baby. Oh yeah. Well. How much money do I got? 360.50. Alright, so I want to do two things here. First. I want to talk to this guy. I want to buy a cow. Whoa! Okay. See ya. I thought it was 1500. I could have swore it was, but apparently it was not. Well, still want to buy two tomato seeds. And one more corn seed. Now, tomatoes and corn act significantly different from turnips and potatoes. Tomatoes and corn are multi-harvest food items that you can grow. You can not, uh, that, that's why they take a lot longer in order to come in. I mean, look at this. It's been four days already, and they're just now starting to sprout. I've already tilled the land. So I just grab my tomatoes and <sighs> corn seeds. Well, all of the grass is ready to harvest. Water dim down. Yeah. And go on and harvest the grass. I'm gonna avoid buying more grass for the time being. For right now I wanna go on and come on in here real quick to at least get something for today. Also so I can, you know, feed the little chickadees. Three is gonna be fine for the time being. 
once you're gonna want to make sure you have at least one fully grown chicken before fall comes. All right. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna come on up here. I'll water the plants a little bit later. That's right now. I want to make sure to get some extra things into in, into the deposit box. That way, I can get some more money. Because yeah, I've got all the food that I'm gonna want to grow for the time being. So now that I've got two thousand, it's time to work on getting the three thousand extra that it takes to, well, you know. Get the house expansion. I really want that house expansion. And that entails doing a lot of fucking stuff. Got that off. Hopefully I can get one more before the guy comes by. I would get a cow first. However, I really want to get that house expansion before... I really, really want to get that house expansion before the new year, or before the next year. You don't have to get it early, but I really want to get it early. Unfortunately, I was not quick enough to get a second one in there. Oh well. I'm going to drop it in the deposit box anyways, because you still get money for it, I think. Considering I had 350 more than what I did yesterday, and one of the fruits that I brought in was not uh, was not put in there before the guy came along. All right, so gonna grab this. Let's go talk to our sooner or later to be white face. She shouldn't have to go to a bar and work her life away. <laughs> Running. You, my friend, are expensive as balls. Here you go, baby. If you bring her something like that flower, Wow, thanks a lot. Hmm, that smells good. And then she just says thanks for today, or if I can get her other dialogue to show up. There it is. Doesn't it get cold at night? Or it doesn't get cold at night, or something like that. Let's check her affection rating to me, because, you know, always have to see... Oh, it went up a heart. Anyways, always have to hit on the ladies and check their diaries to get what they feel for you. Wink, wink. Alright, so. <laughs> I really need to water my plants. So for some reason, the plots that have just the seeds in it looks like it's already been watered, even though I know it hasn't. <sighs> oh, out of water. But yeah, the... These plants, they are quite a bit different than the spring plants. They'll take significantly longer to come in, but overall it is worth it in order to essentially... It, 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 it's a one-time cost kind of thing. Once you buy them, they'll sprout throughout the entirety of summer instead of every five days or so. It's more like every two days or so that they'll have another harvest. That's quite a bit more of a good thing. 
All right. Geez, one swing of the scythe and you've already gotten sweaty. I actually love how they do this. Occasionally, he'll swing from one direction to the other, like when you're walking from left to right, occasionally he'll swing with his left hand, occasionally he'll swing with his right hand. That's a little programming detail that I actually kind of liked. Oops, come on. Yeah, 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 I know you're getting tired. Go have a soak in the hot spring in a little bit. There we go. Now I should have plenty of food for my little chickadees up here. Hey, chickens. Bark, bark, bark. Now, the... I want to make a quick sub-note here, viewers, about the... Uh... Power berry that you get from within this chicken statue. Some walkthroughs say you need the golden hammer to get it. Some walkthroughs say you need to bring a chicken over onto this screen in order to get it. As y'all saw, I got it my second day. So, I'm fairly sure all you need to do to get it is use the fucking hammer. No special tricks, no golden hammers, no damn chickens. That's about it. Alright viewers, so I'm going to do my nightly ritual, weep and repeat. See y'all soon.